machine specifications. Now, this is a very important part of installing a Tableau server as well, because Tableau has pretty heavy machine recommendations and machine requirements. The reason being you're visualizing all these many, many dashboards and you do expect quite a few people to come online and look at these visualizations. So you need to be prepared for uh, all this, all the load that can come on your server. So if you look at these, what I'm showing you currently is what Tableau calls the minimum hardware requirements for testing and prototyping. So you need 64-bit. Tableau stopped supporting 32-bit uh, like a while ago, uh, mostly because of very few OSs. Windows has 32-bit options, but otherwise most of the OSs do not even support 32-bit. And it's, yeah, you always have processes that are 64-bit. And then you need a CPU that's four core, 16 GB, 15 GB uh, disk space, 16 GB of RAM and 15 GB of disk space. Now, my, my humblest recommendation, please do not install a server with those recommendations. Please go, if you scroll further down, you have the minimum hardware recommendations. So these are not the requirements. These are the recommended installer settings. So these are the production level installer settings. You need at least this if you want to have more than 10 users looking at a dashboard at the same time. Otherwise, with the previous installer, you can have more than 10 users, but they're going to have really bad time looking at visualizations. So it is important to have these level of specifications for kind of a production instance. So that's a 64-bit processor again, eight core, two gigahertz or higher uh, on each core, and RAM 32 GB and this space of 50 GB. So one thing to note, this is something that has messed up a lot of people at different times, which is if you're using a virtual machine, if you use uh, something like an AWS architecture or Google Cloud Platform or um, Azure, so Azure VMs, you get this option to have vCPU. So that's what they call the vCPU when you're going in and setting that settings. Now, one VC, one, one vCPU actually counts as half a core. So if they say eight core, what they actually mean is 16 vCPUs. So if you see vCPUs, which is a virtual CPU, you should know that you should go for 16 vCPU for eight core or 32 vCPU for 16 core and so on and so forth. All right. 